episode story number five, Niffle and the Mysterious Shadow. Inside Niffle's cozy underground cavern filled with glowing glass bottles, Niffle, the tiny dreamkeeper, is busy organizing the bottles, his large eyes sparkling with delight. However, tonight there's an unusual tension in the air. Busy night, busy night, so many dreams to keep safe, but something feels off. He peers around the cavern, his eyes narrowing. Suddenly a cold breeze sweeps through the room, flickering the lights of the dream bottles. Niffle shivers, his usual cheerfulness replaced by unease. Huh? What, what, what was that? Dreams don't like the cold? <laughs> Neither does Niffle. He turns back to his work, but a shadow thickens at the edge of his vision. Niffle spins around, his heart pounding. Who is that? Show yourself. The shadow darts across the room, knocking over a few bottles. Niffle gasps, rushing to catch them before they hit the ground. He manages to save them, but a shadow is gone. Oh, what was that? You must be careful. Dreams are precious. Just then, a loud, charming sound echoes through the cavern. Niffle's eyes widen in alarm and determination. Someone's coming from the dream. No time to rest. He rushes to his book of records, flipping through the pages quickly, his tiny hands trembling with urgency. Mrs. Evelyn wants to remember her dream of uniting with a lost lover. Ah, I must hurry. Niffle grabs a bottle with glowing, gentle pink light. He takes a deep breath, focusing hard, and in a flash, he teleports to Miss Evelyn's bedside. She's just beginning to move, the first light of dawn breaking through her window. Niffle tiptoes closer, making sure he remains unseen. He uncorks the bottle, letting the dream flow into her mind. Her face softens with a tearful smile as she relieves the precious memory and her face softens as one tear falls from her cheek. Oh, no dream, no dream. Niffle catches the tear falling from Miss Evelyn's face and puts it into a smaller bottle, caps it and seals it and packs it away in his pouch. Sweet dreams, Miss Evelyn. Cherish your reunion. He quickly teleports back to his cavern, but the uneasy feeling remains. The shadow is nowhere to be seen, but Niffle can sense its presence. What was that shadow? I can't let anything harm the dreams. Must protect them at all costs. As Niffle resumes his work, he keeps glancing over his shoulder, his usual cheerfulness overshadowed by Rory. The cavern's glow seems a little dimmer, and the soft humming of the dream bottles is tinged with a hint of uncertainty. Niffle reaches the smaller bottle of Miss Evelyn's tear, opens it and pours it into a large round glass bottle, and mix it with the dream energy to keep it alive. He shakes it and sees the energies glow and solidify. There we go, little dream. Be safe, glow bright until the time is right. As Niffle places the new dream on the shelf, he labels it and writes in his large dream book of records. As he writes, his anxious eyes scans the cavern, the sense of unease, threat, lingering in the air. It's the shadow. And so the Niffle, the dream keeper, continues his work, ever vigilant, ever caring. But what was that mysterious shadow? Will it return? The answer lies in the dreams yet to come. Do, 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 do.